Hey everybody, welcome to today's session. We're gonna focus in on Force Point One Web Security and how it can control access to generative AI, and in this case, ChatGBT, and how can it control access to the data that is moving into that application. We wanna be able to protect sensitive data. We wanna make sure there's no confidential or corporate information being uploaded into ChatGPT. We know it's a great tool, right? It helps us become more productive. It helps us do research. Maybe we're on the marketing team doing uh, some research on uh, market trends. Maybe I'm on the enablement team and I wanna come up with some uh, unique enablement ideas for our team. But in this case, let's see what we can actually do here. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into ChatGPT. Now, one cool thing that we can do is confirmation. So not only can we control access to the data, we can control, again, access to the application itself. So we may want to block certain users from accessing ChatGPT that have no need to. There may be a certain department where the use of ChatGPT doesn't make sense. So let's put a rule in place to block it. But in this case, I am on the marketing team. I am on the enablement team. So I do have business purposes. So we give them a prompt to say, hey, just a reminder that you should be using this for work related purposes only and that you should not be uploading sensitive data into that resource. Shouldn't be code. There shouldn't be any corporate information, any personal information. So please use it, but just know that we have control over the data. So let's go ahead and continue to the site. So now I'm in chat GBT and let's go ahead. We'll open up our developer tools just so you can see what's going on in the back end here. So let's go ahead and say, hello world. You notice this conversation pending and eventually I'll get a 200 back. And there's the response that came back. So there is the conversation. There is where, when I put in hello world, that's the conversation that started here. You know, it's the 200 okay. Now let's see what happens if I put in some sensitive data. Hey, what is this number? And let's go to a, a file that I have here. We're just gonna do a simple test. Maybe I have some social security numbers or some credit card numbers. So. Hey, what are these numbers here for, for Robert? So let's go ahead and paste those in. All right, let's clear my network here. Click send. Notice this conversation here. Instantly, I get the 403 forbidden. So that's my request being blocked. If you actually look at the response header, you can see there's my deny. There's my DLP block rule being implemented here. You notice the block rule 97411. So my request was blocked. I'm not able to upload sensitive data into ChatGBT. So now let's go back to my management console and you can see where I have that policy implemented. So here I'm under my web categories. You can see my different generative AI categories. So let's select one of them here. You notice I have the confirmation. So this is set to say, okay, if this user is accessing this website, don't block them. Don't just straight up allow them. Let's do a confirmation. Confirm that, hey, do you want to move forward with this request? So that's where I have that policy in place to, uh, to trigger my confirmation. Now, from a, uh, an admin standpoint, if I want to look at logs, if I want to look at reporting to actually see what my users are doing, how they're interacting with, in this case, ChatGBT. So let's go to my transaction viewer here. So in our case, we want to look for a certain category. So we're going to look for Gen AI. We'll just select each of our categories here. And there we go. Now in our case, let's look at also the action. So in our case, we want to look at the confirm. So show me when the category is my three generative AI and when the action was confirmed. And let's just look at the last hour here. Do a refresh. So here we can see the date, time, and the URLs that were accessed. Now I want to get a little bit more information. So maybe I want to look to see who was the user. Now we are filtering for action. So we know these were ones that triggered confirm, but if I wanted to, I could drag the action in here as well. So let's see who the user was and what was the action and we'll do a refresh. So now I'll be able to see it was Justin. I can see that, yes, the action was confirmed here and I can see the URL. So now I can see which users are accessing. If I was in a certain group coming from a certain location, 
is there any risk associated with this website? I can put all that information in my transaction viewer here. Now, remember we did get denied. We did see that 403 forbidden. So now let's change our action to block. And let's see what URLs do, did we block. Now remember in the debugger, we saw the conversation URL. So I can see it was, was blocked. Now I even can bring in the policy. So if we bring the policy in here and let's do a refresh. All right, we can see it was my default policy. So I only have one policy in place, but we can see which policy was implemented. So if you have multiple policies in place for certain users, for certain groups, you can see that in our case, we just see our default policy being implemented here. But as you can see, we're able to control the access to ChatGBT, in this case, through the coaching page. I was able to control access to the data moving into that application, right? We prevented social security and credit card details from being uploaded. We we're able to come into the web security solution and through our reporting, I could see the transaction where I was uh, triggering the confirmation. And now we can see where we triggered the, uh, the block as well. And we can see the URL. I can click on this, I can get a little bit more detail. So again, I can see who the user was, if I was in a specific group, what policy triggered it, what was the action, certain categories, any risk associated with it, and look at the, the details of the request itself. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.